Hello everyone, this is a for you back again with another how to play today. We're going to be looking at how to play the game of hearts, which is a trick taking game, and all you need is a standard deck of 52 cards. It's important to note, for say it's a trick taking game, you do require four players. And <clears throat> it's ranked ace as being highest, twos are the lowest. Hearts are all worth one point. The queen of spades is worth. 13 points. You want to try to avoid that. And you're going to be playing until somebody hits 100 points and whoever has the fewest points wins. That's what you want to try to do. It's a trick taking game, like any other trick taking game. The only basic difference is that the hearts are worth points and you want to avoid winning the hearts. <clears throat> So you select a dealer, everyone draws a card from the deck, and whoever's lowest card becomes the dealer. There's a tie, you do extra drawings to break the tie. Then you deal 13 cards to each player. That's the entire deck. Whoever is the two of clubs always starts off, and they have to lead with the two of clubs, so you're pretty much guaranteed to lose the first round. If you're the first person, <clears throat> whichever suit is led becomes the highest ranking suit of that round. If a person doesn't have any suit, you're supposed to follow the suit. If you cannot, you can throw any card you want, except the hearts or the queen of spades. You get it. May not play any of these cards, the hearts of the queen of spades, until at least the second trick. And I believe you cannot play any, you cannot lead with any hearts until somebody's already played a heart. Whoever, of course, wins the trick, then leads with the second trick, and everyone has to follow suit if possible. <coughs> Once you've played out the hand with all 52 cards, you count up the hearts, each one is worth one point. The queen of spades is 13, as I mentioned. All the cards have no point value. And you just count up the points. There are, of course, different variations, which we won't be getting into. So, there's a little bit of shuffle. We'll do a quick little round here, why not? <clears throat> uh, let's just deal off some cards here as quickly as possible. Normally, you probably want to deal one at a time, but for the purposes of not taking 20 minutes to do, <laughs> you know, deal cards out, we'll just do it quicker. I think I might have screwed up. <laughs> Okay, I think we're okay now. <clears throat> we'll just put them face up, of course. You're going to keep them secret to yourself. So whoever has the two of clubs leads first. That would be... Who has the two of clubs? <laughs> oh, right here. Next person has to follow suit. Let's say they play a four. Or whatever. They can get rid of the three, I guess. <clears throat> Anyone's going to follow suit. The person who played the highest card wins, and they get to lead. Now, can't, they cannot play with a heart or a spade or a queen of spades in the first round, or you cannot play a heart or the queen of spades in the first round. And you cannot lead with a heart, as far as I know, until... Somebody has played one, but you know, we'll say we just have to get rid of that one because it's 13 points. I don't want it. <laughs> this guy isn't gonna take it, and then you know, he doesn't want it either. This is probably in hindsight not the best time to play the Queen of Spades because you're gonna get stuck with it. It's probably best to wait until later on 
where you know the king of spades is gone, the ace of spades is gone, and then that way somebody else might win it. Oh, no, actually, I'm wrong. You don't want to wait for the king of spades to be gone or the, the ace of spades because then that means you're going to get stuck with it. You do want to wait for an opportune time, though, to play the queen of spades. Ideally, this was not it, but he got rid of it. He, it's gone. Maybe you'll play a different card. Again, let's say he plays the eight clubs now. now. This guy doesn't have a club. He can play any other card. This is the time to play a queen of spades or a heart because it's not going to win the trick. Now this guy is kind of stuck. He has to play ace of clubs and he has to take that. He's going to lead. Let's say he leads diamonds you can just keep going around like that it's pretty simple pretty straightforward and everything's kind of in a mess here as to who's had this who I apologize but that is the game of hearts at the end we said, let's say, you know, these are everyone's. <laughs> the tricks that they won. They're going to go through and, you know, okay, count up all the hearts. This guy's got three. Three points. This guy has two points. This guy has... Four points. And, and this guy, of course, has the most because he has the Queen of Spades. Which is worth 13. Which he did to himself. <laughs> 14, 15, 17 points. And he playing until somebody gets 100. Whoever has the least amount of points at that time wins the game. It's a pretty simple, straightforward game, I think. In terms of trick-taking games. Stay tuned, I've got Royal Hearts variation of this coming up next, and we'll see you next time for more. Thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe.